Welcome to a new lesson of the course. In this lesson we will use the buzzer to make music. In this lesson we are going to make music using the buzzer. As always connect the Arduino with the base shield and the USB cable to the computer. Connect the BASA module to the connector D3. Open the file growbasa.ino by clicking on it. Check that the Arduino board is connected to the PC and that you select the serial com on Arduino IDE. In my case the COM port is 15. Upload the program to Arduino. As you can read in the message pane, the program has been transferred to Arduino. Let's see what the program does. You can find this program at the following web page, arduino.cc English Tutorial Melody. We are going to generate the nodes C, D, E, F, G, A, B and C. To each node corresponds a frequency. For example, to C corresponds a frequency of 261 Hz. On the right of the frequency there are two numbers. The first one, 3830, for the note C, is the period in microseconds. The note C has a frequency of 261 Hz. That means that it has 261 cycles per second. Let's focus on a period. For a frequency of 261 Hz, the period T, that is calculated as the inverse of the frequency, is 3830 microseconds. In the program we will use the half of the period, that is 1915 microseconds. As you can see, the last number, 1915 for the note C, is the half of the period. First thing we do is defining the pin where the buzzer is connected to. In this case, the number 3. We will generate 14 nodes and a rest, in total 15. The char array nodes contains the nodes we are going to generate, cc, gg and so on. You can note that the last char is in a space, that represents a rest. The variable tempo is 300, that is the time in milliseconds that one node will last. The array bits contains the number of bits, each one 300 milliseconds, that we will play each node. The last C will last 2 bits, 600 milliseconds, and the rest, 4 bits, 1200 milliseconds. Let's see how to generate the nodes. For the first 300 milliseconds, we generate the node C. There is a train of pulses of 261 Hz, a break of 150 milliseconds, another node C, break of 150 milliseconds, the node G, and so on. You can see how the node G lasts 600 milliseconds. Finally, you can see that the node C lasts 600 milliseconds and the rest 1200 milliseconds. The function we will use to generate a node is play node. The first parameter is the node. C, D, E, and the second one the time in milliseconds. There are two arrays, names and tones. We will use both arrays to implement a data dictionary. The array names contains the node, C for the first position, and the array tones the semi-period in microseconds, 1915 for the node C. The for loop goes through all the elements of the array names. If the node stored in the parameter node is equal to the element of the array, then we call the function playTone with the duration of the semi-period that is in the array tones, and the duration in milliseconds in the parameter duration. The parameter duration is in milliseconds, so we multiply it by 1000 to convert it into the time in microseconds we generate the tone. The variable i is incremented by 2 times tone, that is the duration of the period. With the function digital write, we set to high level the output pin and we wait for the time tone, that is the semi period for the tone in microseconds. 
Now we set to low level the output pin for the same time, getting so a square signal of period tone in microsecond. In the function setup, we initialize the pin connected to the VASA as output. Inside the function loop, we go through the array nodes using the variable i for a number of times specified by the variable length that is 15. If the node is one space character, what we do is a delay to generate the rest. The duration is tempo, that is 300 milliseconds, multiplied by the number of bits from the array bits. If the note is not a rest, we use the function play note to generate the tone. Between notes, we use the function delay with a value of 150 to wait for 150 milliseconds. 